Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to solve our skill track daily challenge using Python programming language. Before going to logic, if you didn't subscribe to our channel, then subscribe right now and make our work more meaningful. First, we'll understand our question. The program has to accept the integer n and print the integers from n to 1 and then print the integers from n minus 1 to 2 and then print the integers from n minus 2 to 3 and similarly the program must print the integers in all decreasing limits so first we are going to accept the integer n and then we are going to print the integers from n to 1 and then from n minus 1 to 2 and then n minus 2 to 3 and so on and similarly the program must print the integers in all decreasing limits so first we'll take our test case so it is n is equal to 6 so we'll print the integers from n to 1 that is 6 to 1 and then 5 to 2 that is n minus 1 to 2 and then from 4 to 3 and then from 3 to 4 so when when it becomes 3 to 4 it is not in decreasing limit it is in increasing limit so we'll just stop here and we'll print for these three lines that is from 6 to 1 it is 6 5 4 3 2 1 and then from 5 to 2 and then from 4 to 3 that is 4 3 and this will be our output so we will take our another test case where integer n is equal to 5 so from n to 1 that is 5 to 1 and then we have n minus 1 to 2 and then n minus 2 to 3 so now after this it will be in increasing limit so we must stop before that as we should print only all decreasing limits so it will be 5 to 1 and then 4 2 2 that is 4 3 2 and then 3 so this will be our output now let us implement our program first we will get the integer n and then we will have two variables called as start range and the end range So the start range is n and the end range is 1. So that is we will print from n to 1. And then we will have a while loop where start range will be greater than or equal to end range. So this will specify whether the numbers are in decreasing limit or not. So if it is in increasing limit it will not pass in this loop so after this we will give the condition that is we must print the range so here we use the range function so start range comma end range minus 1 so here we have used minus 1 because the end argument is exclusive and comma minus 1 so here the step value is minus 1 because we are printing in decreasing limit so we will convert it to list in order to print them and we will unpack the elements by using asterisk 
so and then we use end argument so after this the start range will be decremented by 1 and the end range will be incremented by 1 so now let us run our program we will pass our first test case we have got the correct output and then we will pass our next test case that is phi so here also we have got the correct output Our program has passed all our given test cases successfully. Hope you guys understand. Thanks for watching. See you next video.